I had some of the most amazing spiritual experiences on my mission. And experiences that sometimes I wish I could just go back and live again, no matter how hard they may have been. But because they were so spiritual and so life-changing, they blessed my life. The most important lesson I learned on my mission was to trust. I trust the Lord. I think a lot of us, at least for me, believe the Lord. I've never doubted that Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ is there. But sometimes I struggled with trusting fully in my Savior and knowing that no matter what was happening, that He would take care of it. And so I just had to lay back and, and trust him a lot on the mission. And one of those experiences were just so amazing. Um, I had a man that we were teaching in Cody. And um, we were trying. He was a, a less active that just struggled. And he, he'd always say, well, I'm going to come to church. But he, he would never come to church. and. And we would continue to pray for him, pray and pray. We just wanted what was best for him because we didn't want to see him sad. And there was so much in his past that just hurt him. And I remember my companion and I, we were down in um, this little greeting area of where he lived, where there would be people around that we could teach him. And we were with him and... And he loved to talk, keep talking, 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 or go on tangents. And we would always try to get him back on, on street. And we were sitting there talking with him one day, and we were trying to teach him this lesson and how important it is and why it's important to come to church. And, and I just remember him starting to talk, and he went off on kind of a tangent. And he said, well, this Sunday I won't be going to church. And my first result was like, Brian, you have to, like, you just can't stop. We just can't not go to church every week. Like, I was just like, you, it's important. My first thought was, like, to speak up and just be like, okay, no more excuses. Just go and and we'll come with you and it'll be okay. And, and before I could even say anything, and I could tell that my companion beside me, she wanted to say something to me both, like, at the same time. Could, it was so noticeable because both of us kind of looked at each other. We just got this rebuke from heaven that was just like, just shut your mouth and listen. And so we did. We just, we, we were kind of, and we just continued to listen to him. And, and then after he, he said, like, I can't go to church this week, we heard the most amazing story and heart-wrenching story and heart-touching story of his family and of, of the gospel and, and his testimony. And, and then he bore his testimony to us. And there was a single dry eye in the place. My companion was crying. He was crying. I was crying and we were just sobbing. We were a mess. And people around us were thinking we're crazy. But it was such a touching experience. And it would not have happened if we hadn't shut up and listened. And from there, we were touched and we knew what we needed to teach. And we knew where we needed to go and what we needed to say. And we brought our testimonies to him. We taught him the truth the gospel and why the Lord loved him so much, why Heavenly Father loved him so much, and how he was a precious son of God, and how he was so worth everything, everything that came to him. He had great things in his future, and like you said, he didn't come to church that Sunday, because he had something going on. But the next Sunday he did. And then the next Sunday after that he did. 
and he started coming and then it was fast and testimony meeting and he bore his testimony which was a powerful one I know the spirit knows best sometimes he tells us things that need to happen and we don't always listen but when he tells us to listen we should and from that experience I learned to to keep a fine fine ear on the spirit to not always be the talker but be the listener too